Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours, the true love, of course, the Scarander, and today we're going up against Alish, I don't know, as seen on 3120, a very, very good friend of mine, and a very, very good Pokemon player overall, and he taunted me on my stream with a team that have win, well, won 19 times, I haven't lost yet, so I really felt that, alright, you, you want a match? You want a mat match, boy? <laughs> And basically, I brought the team that uh, is, you know, very, very good in X and Y. Was definitely like the team for me. Uh, I really lost with this team, and I haven't really redefined it because I had very little reason to do so. The only thing I changed was bringing Meta Metagross, but that is the real, only real change to it. So it's really, really good, really, really threatening. But uh, my opponent's team has a team that is genuinely threatening too. So we got Staraptor, Metagross, Kingdra, Zoroark. Um, oh, it's called ah oh, the sable sable I no damn it I can't Raikou <laughs> and Flygon um, Flygon seems to be a good lead Sorok is a good lead Star after is a good lead and I myself like I said they're using Mega Metagross Mantine Hillelisk Stoutland Gigalith and my Bugra and basically here I really had no reason setting up rocks. So I didn't feel like that was the most important thing to do in the beginning. But at the same time, I couldn't start off with Hillelisk because it has to fly and resist that. And I'm not sure I can outspeed the Staraptor. So I decided to try to play offensively and see if I could get a lead from that. And uh, yeah, basically with all of that in mind, let's go. So in the beginning here, I was really backing on him starting off with the Staraptor. So I'm gonna go to Xander, which is to make a Metagross. And basically what I want to do here is uh, Mega Evolve from the Adit. But he's gonna go for his freaking flying on and there is no way I'm staying into this. I, I just, I can't. I know that Manti can deal with it rather well and it's gonna go for the Earth Power, the safe move definitely. But at the same time, it's probably the move you kinda should do. And he's gonna go for a U-turn. I knew he's gonna leave this and not stay in. So I decided to go for a Toxic instead. And this is my Defog Manti, so I don't have that much offensive pressure whatsoever. It's called Toxic, and I think there is uh, Defog and Protect, basically. So, it's not the most prominent move pool, but at the same time, it is the move pool that actually can help me out in the long run. Or actually not Protect, it has Air Slash. Anyway, he's gonna go to his Raikou. At this point, I had no idea what this Raikou wanted to do. I felt that, you know, he has the pressure, he can keep this going if he wants to. So I'm just gonna force myself to switch out to Bugra, my Ipowdon, and... Um, basically threatened him out because that was really my only play i couldn't really go for earthquakes because he had two pokemon as was flying he has levitate flygon and of course he has a monster that is the star after so i basically want to force him here thinking that i was gonna go for an earthquake then hard switch to my fault the stoutland pretty much uh, do damage to something or at least that was the general idea I was really back on the star after. Sadly, he goes for Mirage, which is the monster that is the Flygon. And um, not a lot of things can happen here. I'm definitely felt that, you know what? I'm just gonna go for freaking return. I'm gonna do damage anyway because I don't need to dent this thing. And yeah, I do around 50%. And he's gonna go for Draco and he misses. He misses the Draco. Such a swift moves from the, the monster that is full. And he's gonna go to his Metagross here, and well, honestly, there is not a whole lot I do here, and I'm gonna switch out, and he actually predicted this. Uh, I'm gonna go to Bugra, and I think he predicted that I might go for this ground type, so he's gonna go to his Staraptor. Though, I gotta be honest, I thought that was a weird switching, because that, it could have been dangerous if I decided to stay in, of course. And, um, yeah, I'm basically gonna show him the Ice Fang, which should be enough after I hit here, but he goes for Night Days! It's the Sorark, it's the monster that is the Sorark, and damn it, I should have gone just for the freaking, I can't stress this enough, I should have gone for a slack off, and um, that would have helped me much more, I could have stole him out here, but no, he, his night days is obviously more than enough to take me out, and uh, uh, I have to switch out again, I gotta switch up to Solgo, and he's gonna go over yet again for night days, which honestly, it's not gonna do a whole lot to the Mantine, because I am a Mantine after all. And, um, yeah, I didn't know if he wanted to stay into this or not, and if so, um, he has no real use of Sorok anymore. But uh, he's still gonna preserve it, because 
in my types of late game matchup, I guess. He's gonna go to his Mirage and um, sadly I should say, I go for a Skull and it is not enough. It is not enough. I don't get the kill or the burn either, which I've actually would have taken the last edge of health and he's gonna showcase now the Roost and the Reflective wearing off, which means that I can finally do some damage to his team. Um, had I knew that he would go for Roost, I would definitely switch out to something that could deal with his brother properly. Or rather, I should say, I should definitely switch out to Bugra and get the Sandstorm up again. But I'm just gonna keep going for Skulls. I'm I'm fishing for the burn. That's all I can do. I know that he really can't dent me because he's specially oriented after all. So I knew I had a very, very nice position. And I'm definitely gaining a lot of HP by doing this too. And like I said, I'm fishing for the burn. And... Um, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it just it isn't. And um, he eventually here going to switch out back to his Raikou. And you know I can't even be mad about that. Uh, that's definitely the right play to do. And he's just gonna set up uh, his uh, oh what do you call it the hazards again or the screens. And uh, I should definitely stay in here. You know go for defog just to taunt him. But at the same time, I I'm not able to take a full switch, uh, and uh, I am, well, I force switch out by default, and I should even, you know, gone so far and gone for another Scald, and uh, predicting him to go for Reflect. If I've done that, you know what, I probably could have taken it out because of the toxic damage. So he's gonna go for Reflect first, that is the right play to do, and he's gonna be able to outspeed my heal list, which means the Hyper Voice will not kill him, or I think it will kill him no matter what, but the turns keeps going, and then now we got the light screen up, which is awful really because I can't do anything I am I am dead by default because I'm not dead but the the screens are up his defenses are up and he is now free to set up with his Kingdra yes the Kingdra is damn lit here and I had no idea what kind of set this was so I'm just going to write I'm probably gonna sack this one um, and I see this go for dragon dances and I thought you know what that is fine you keep going doing that you're probably gonna stop after two and uh, start attacking, or well, that was at least what I'm hoping for after he saw that he was out speeding. And um, yeah, basically, I wanted to get his HP down in a, in a position where I could start hurting him. But here's where I do a massive, massive over prediction because I will go into Bugra, yes, but he is the Resto Chesto Kingdra with Dragon Dance. And I, not only that, I do stay in. And I have no idea why I did this, because I knew it had Waterfall, and I had both the Hillelisk and the Mantine, both of them being able to take a hit like this, and then coming in with my... I really wanted to force him to go into Outrage, and uh, staying in here with Bugra losing him like that was not the right move to do, because I was forced to sack something, and I didn't sack the right Pokemon. I should definitely from this position have gone to Mantine and sacked it off to an Outrage. That is what I should have done. And I don't. I go to full, f pretty much here, trying to force him to go for an outrage. And uh, I sadly went for Saladin instead, which is really bad. It really is. It's gonna go for outrage. It is definitely going to take me out. There is no way Hill is gonna take this. But like I said, Hill is kind of better usage than Mantine. I did not. F I didn't think like that at the, <laughs> at the time. So anyway, now I know he's locked to outrage, which is what I wanted him to. And I'm going to go to Sander, which now means I can go for a free Mega Evolution to the Mega Metagross, which of course is resisted for the Dragon Typing, and I know I can at least take one Outrage and then retaliate in. And in best scenarios, I do survive two. And uh, the Outrage will do a good chunk of damage, it will. But uh, it is not over half, he will get the Confusion, and my Zen Headbutt will... I think it's close to killing, I don't think it does. No. So I'm forced to say, and he's not going to switch out because he actually has set up, and that is great. That is great. And his reflect is wearing off, which means that I finally can hit him. He sadly hits himself with confusion, and I went for pursuit just in case that he was going to switch out because that would taken it out on that impact. But well, it is what it is. So anyway, his Metagross is going to come in now, and sadly again, I hope that an earthquake from Sander was enough to take him out. And it is close, but it's not close enough. I should definitely have predicted him go for an earthquake on his own. I went to my man time maybe and go for a skull before even finish it off. I don't make that judgment call. I don't. I thought I could take it out. I can't. 
And what's even worse is I was banking on this return to take him out. It is not enough. He survives with a slither of health and this meteor flash will take him out. So I was basically here like, alright, this is this is GG. I, I, I'm not coming back from this. Uh, the sand will wheel out. Uh, that was why I went with Wolf in the first place. And um, yeah, he got me. He got me good. I made a, a, too many bad calls in a row. And uh, it is enough here to actually be taken out. My Soul Go actually managed to live this uh, sand headbutt. Which is great, I mean it's rose to 2 HP, so I'm not going down to this Mega Metagross or Metagross either. But I should definitely done this play first. I definitely felt that afterwards that I would have been much better off if I went for a Scald and then switched into something else and saved my Mega Metagross in that process. Because Mega Metagross was probably the only thing really threatening him at that point, and I did not make that call. So anyway, he's gonna go for Brave Bird here. Star Raptor is finally back here. I know this thing is Joyce Banded, for sure. And uh, there is no way Solgo is gonna take this whatsoever. And um, yeah, my last Pokemon is Gigalith, and without the Sandstream, it is not threatening, sadly. Vulcan, the master, the monster of all Pokemons, is sadly, well, it does gonna take this uh, Braver fairly well, because it is a freaking rock type after all. Um, his last Pokemons are just so much able to deal with this that uh, there is no way for me of really going around it. I just really accepting my fate, and the last matchup is Flygon against Gigalith. And um, yeah, like I said, guys, there is no way I can work around this. Gigalith is gonna fall, and he's gonna fall to the massive, powerful Earth power that this Flygon is packing. So that is GG, people. And uh, like I said, Sinon, good game, man. Um, like I said, I did a few bad calls against Kingdra, and uh, it ended up biting me pretty darn badly in the ass. Watching this battle again, I was really like, what was I thinking? But then again, you know, stuff like that happens, I was probably pretty much paralyzed by the situation and I really, really, really didn't think clearly on what would, what had to be done and did that ending up actually defeating me. So, very good game man, very threatening team really. So, yeah, wow, that was actually a 3-0, that feels really, really rough. Um, but yeah, like I said... Uh, I had, I had, I think I had a position where I could work around it. I just, I didn't. Which now watching this battle again feels really, really tough to see. But at the same time, I think I was kind of overwhelmed by the position I were in, and I did not make the right calls. And uh, sometimes that is just about enough. Like both our team were very phys physically oriented and was definitely built on pressure. And I think when the other person actually getting that pressure. There's where it all ends, like, uh, that is how you're gonna fall, and uh, this was definitely one of those cases where it just, I had, I had the right responses, but I didn't make them. Um, and my opponent overall, of course, I mean, this is like a 20s win with this team, and haven't lost with it once, and uh, I was definitely not the one to make that, <laughs> make, the, make that change, honestly. I was really thinking about this afterwards, like, what did I go wrong, but I do realize that he is just so much better at keeping a cool head than I am in pressure, and yeah, that is how he gets the momentum. And just seems you know, just that kind of player. He's very good, and um, he came in with that reflects up, and uh, yeah, not making the right calls there is what takes me down, and that is how you're gonna lose. I, I can't really stress it enough. I lost because of a, a player was playing better than me. And sometimes it's that simple, and it's tough to re have that realization, but at the same time, that was a good game, and that was a fantastic match seen on. Good good work, man. And yeah, other than that, guys, I want to thank you for watching, of course. Make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, sky's limit, guys. Have a good day, and take care, alright? Bye.